And we are back. And before we get even get into today's episode, the prognosis on Andre Onana's injury is good, but not great. He suffered a fractured upper arm, which means he will miss four to five weeks. So Bayandir is going to get more minutes in this episode than he has in the entirety of his Manchester United career. So let's hope he can do the job. Obviously, he came on against Palace and conceded two. Let's hope that doesn't carry over. I'm also going to play our next Champions League game before we get into the Premier League game of this video because, again, it's only against Ferenc Vedster slash Red Star Belgrade. So should be a game we're expected to win. And again, I don't really think you guys are fussed about Champions League games against teams that we should be winning. It's all about the Premier League game. It's all about Esso versus Eric and see if we can better Manchester United Premier League performances. So I'll catch you after that Champions League game. So the Champions League game, we won 2-1. Like we said, a bit of squad rotation. The front three of Rashford, Sancho and Martial doing the damage. So much so that I think I'm actually going to start those three in the Premier League game for this episode. But as you can see on the screen right there, comfortable win in the end, even though it was just 2-1. And like I say, another good run out for the players that hadn't been playing recently. wan again getting more minutes on the, his return to the side and also getting himself an assist as well. So two wins out of two in the Champions League. Now let's look ahead to today's episode. Which is against Brentford, a game where once again Manchester United were performing very poorly after a defeat to Palace. They then lost to Galatasaray in the Champions League and were on the verge of losing this game against Brentford until super sub Scott McTominay scored in the 93rd and then 97th minute of the match to win this 2-1. We, of course, are on a really good run of form on this series. And something I haven't shown you guys yet is the actual table. So here is the table as things stand. Manchester City top on 19, joint with Liverpool. Newcastle in third on 16. And we currently sit in fourth place on 14 points. Let's hope we can get another victory today against Brentford to see ourselves move closer to the top of the table. So here is today's team. As we spoke about, the front three is going to be Rashford, Martial and Sancho looking to continue their form from the Champions League game. The midfield also sees one change from our regular lineup. Casemiro hasn't been great the last few games and picking up yellow cards and Amrabat's form has been fantastic. So Amrabat's coming in to midfield and Luke Shaw is coming in at left back for Reguilón carrying him from his place in the Champions League team as well because of how well he's been playing. And unfortunately for Reguilón, I just think Luke Shaw is the better option for me right now. So the Brentford team is as followed. We have got Mark Flecken in goal, a back four of Rosalev, Ayer, Pinnock and Henry, a midfield three of Norgard, Jensen and Yenau, and a front three of Sharda, Visser and Umbermo. Again, I think we should be winning this one pretty comfortably. We're on a fantastic run of form. Let's hope it continues right here. First chance of the game in the Manchester rain is going to be a Brentford one here. Got them pinned in the corner, but they've managed to find a way out. It comes to Norgard, out to Rico Henry. It's great build-up play. Penalty given. Oh, I'm not convinced by that at all. We need VAR on this for sure. Anthony Taylor, the referee, has given it. Penalty awarded. Dallo too forceful on Visser. He got the ball, didn't he? It's embarrassing. It's a disgrace. Vissa scores, but I'm not happy about that decision in the slightest. Dallow comes away with the ball there, surely. That's fine. Look, we've not been behind many times on this series, but... We've played good and good stuff. I'm confident in the players and we should be able to get back from this. Ha! <laughs> Bring in Amrabat for Casemiro because Casemiro keeps getting booked in that holding midfield position and Amrabat gets booked 16 minutes into this one. Where's the discipline? We've made six fouls in the first 20 minutes. Oh, and it just keeps going from bad to worse because now we're saying that Rashford's picked up an injury. Looks like he's pulled his calf. What is going on in this game? I mean, it's going to have to throw curveballs at us at some point, isn't it? I think the smart thing to do here is obviously put Sancho on the other side and then bring Anthony on, have the wingers cutting in. What a disastrous start to this game. 1-0 down to a dodgy penalty decision. Amrabat's got himself booked and now our best player so far this season has now gone off injured. 
A throw into Brentford, an absolute identical position to where they scored from last time. It's Rico Henry to Vissa, and it's a crucial block from Dallow, otherwise it'd have been 2 0. Come on, guys. Berate. Need to be fired up. What is going on? And Burmo's corner, the Pinnock. Martinez clears. Another Brentford attack. And Burmo with the corner. <laughs> 2 0. Just no marking at the front post. I can't be offside. It was a corner. Goal disallowed. Is he blocking the view of the goal? Oh, yeah, he's blocking the view of the goalkeeper. Oh, he is. Norgard's header. No wonder by Andy didn't get down there. But Norgard's still completely unmarked. Massive let off for Man United there. From the free kick. Could this be our first attack of the game? 33 minutes in. Mount just hoofs it to no one. What is that all about? Good work from Martial to win it back. Anthony on to Dallo. On to Bruno. Bruno Fernandes. To Dallo. Amrabat. Mount. Goes for the curler. Little bit better. Little bit better. Hopefully that chance is just giving us a little bit of a confidence boost. Bruno Fernandes. On to Anthony. In behind. Anthony for United. Goes for goal. It's straight at Fleck and again. But that's two chances in a minute. Getting ourselves back into the game here. Free kick here from Bruno. Finds Sancho. Edge of the box with space. Straight at the keeper. Oh, I think he had to do better there, Sancho. Can we capitalise from the corner? We're so good at corners. Bruno. To that man, Varane again. Sancho gives it away poorly. Oh, that's going to be a yellow card for Bruno, surely. Yeah. And that'll do it for the first half. What an absolute disaster that has been. We're down on XG. We've, at least we've had a few more chances, but we've lost Rashford. We've picked up yellow cards. Shaw looks like he's absolutely shattered, so he's going to have to come off for Reguilon, but... Man, oh man. Is there anything else we could potentially do? Amrabat's playing aggressive. Do we put Casemiro on? He looks... He's nervous. Hoyland's motivated. We may bring him on. Martial's looking nervous. So do you know what? We're going to put Rasmus on for Martial at half-time. And we're going to put Reggie on, on for sure at half-time. And let's hope that with those two coming on at half-time, we can make a little bit of difference. Ball over the top from Brentford. It's only going to come to Diogo Dallo. Can we build up here? Bruno. Out to Anthony. Come on, drive. You've been doing this so well for me this season. Dallo. Mount. Sancho. Reguilon. Comes to Hoyland. Come on. 60 minutes on the clock. Nothing more has changed. So we need to make more changes. I'm going to put Palistri on for Sancho. Because unfortunately Sancho has just done nothing in this game so far. And I feel like we still need more attacking options on there. So I'm going to put Kobe Mainu on for Amrabat. I'm going to push Mainu into Bruno's position. Swap then Mainu and Mount. And then push Bruno even further forward where he can be most effective. Flecking under pressure. Hoyland nearly nicked it. Bruno. Dallo. Intercepted again.
Dallow wins it back from Umbermo. Hoyland onto Palistri. Gives it away. This is always the danger. Varane wins it back again. Come on. Keep going. Still 20 minutes left. Anthony. Mount. Mount! Game on! 1-1. One, one. Don't run over to the fans. Get the ball. Go again. We've got a game to win here. This isn't just about getting the draw. This is about getting the win. Well done, Varane, to feed Anthony. It was a pop shot from Mason Mount. I think it was on his left foot as well, or he, like, toe-poked it on his right. He toe-pokes it on his right foot. Goes through Flecken. Mount equalises, but there's still a game to win here. Come on. Into the last 10 minutes we go. It's a free kick to United. Bruno swings it in. Mainu knocks it down to Mount. Mason Mount's already got us an equaliser. Can he get us a winner? Big tackle from Rico Henry. Comes to Palistri. Reglion swings it in. Kobe Mainu comes to Anthony. Anthony! 2-1! Now you can celebrate! Come on! Turn it back to attacking. We'll take off very attacking for the last 10 minutes. We don't, you know, we still want to keep ourselves in this. We don't want to just go overboard, though. Good play from Brentford to get around the United press. And Janelt could have a chance to go here. Mount wins it back. Bayandir finds the ball safely. It's tense, this. I like it. I like the drama of it. Reggion. On to Bruno. On to Mainu. Go on, Cobby. Cobby Mainu. Goes for goal. Could he have slipped in Rasmus? He looked like he was in space. Flecken just turned into an absolute rocket ship, by the way. Norgard for Brentford. Looks long for Rico Henry. What a ball! And Rico Henry denied by Dallow. What a tackle. Brentford have now gone for it. Jensen with a free kick here towards Ben Mee. Headed away by Hoyland. It's Visser and Reggion out there. Visser puts it back in. Hoyland heads it away. Throw into Brentford. I'm going to have to put it on defensive. We can't risk it. Ball whipped in again. Henry's round the back. Dallow heads clear brilliantly. Comes to Anthony. He's got room to run into. It's out for a throw in. Varane sends this free kick forward. But it's given away. No, it's not. Polistri does keep a hold of it. He finds Mount. Reggion now. Whips one in towards Hoyland. Headed away by Pinnock. Palistri puts it back in. Hoyland's there again! What's the ref deciding here? Has Hoyland finally got his first goal or is it going to be ruled out? The whole game could hinge on this VAR decision. It's been disallowed. Hoyland again misses out on the chance of getting his first goal. Palistri put it back in first. Oh, that's tight. That's two refereeing decisions that... Oh, very questionable there. Final minute of play. Brentford knock it downfield. It's flicked on towards Jensen. He's in behind Varan. And by and dear... Makes the save. It's a corner to Brentford. Fleckens up from the back. They have everyone forward. It's up in the air. It's headed away. Mopai to Jensen. Who whips these? Hit the bar. Oh my God. Drama until the final kick of the game, but Manchester United get the win again.
Oh, I feel like I need to lie down after that. It's been such a good run for us on this series recently, but my, oh my, what a game that was. We lost Rashford. Anthony came on for him, put in a man of the match performance with a goal and an assist. We had a dodgy penalty go against us. Hoyland had a last minute basic winner. Game sealer ruled out for offside. And with the last kick of the game, Jensen hits the bar. And it ends 2-1. <laughs> Oh my word, if that doesn't deserve a like on the video, I don't know what does. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.